managing ecologically and social uh, issues uh, come with a lot of challenges. Uh, first of all, you have to find a good balance <coughs> between uh, the need to preserve the uh, planet and the need to respond to uh, social and economic uh, needs of communities and population. And we, I see actually two big issues. In, you know, the developing world is basically facing huge needs in terms of fresh water, in terms of food, in terms of uh, production, in terms of uh, development. And these needs are being threatened by the very issue of degradation of nature because most of their needs are actually provided by ecosystem services. In many parts of the world, up to 90% of people's needs are actually provided by land, um, vegetation, fresh water, etc. They, they, they live of nature. They don't have banks. They don't have uh, huge assets. Uh, their assets are actually nature. So that, you know, trying to find a good balance there between how to respond to these needs while preserving the environment is actually quite a challenge. Especially when you know that there are external externalities out there. They don't need in a silo. They need in a world that is interconnected. And they need in a world where actually uh, some of their uh, products coming from their land are actually exported and international trade comes in. Uh, the banana that you consume here in London or the coffee that you drink here in the coffee station is not produced in, in, in England. It is produced, produced somewhere else. So what is the impact of your consumption here in London on communities out there in Brazil or in Cote d'Ivoire or in Malaysia? That's the question. So we are in a very dif difficult and challenging world where actually with a growing population and with growing demand, with consumption patterns that are not sustainable, mostly in the developed world, are actually having huge impact on nature in remote areas far away from where the products are being consumed. This is a big challenge because you are dealing with extremely difficult issues like international trade, you are dealing with international relations, you are dealing with the need to have more science to actually underpin most of the decisions that are being made elsewhere, especially in big conferences like the one we are having here in London on planet under pressure. That's the big challenge that communities would face. What is uh, the future of the Tuareg person in Niger <coughs> when you come that when you know that in Niger they're exploiting uranium to be used somewhere else and what are the consequences of that exploitation on the local community and what are the benefits that they are getting from that exploitation? That's the big question.